Crowd, something is happening. Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you, Northern Else. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps! How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Richard has survived a trial by fire. The flames never touched her. And the king? Did you do as I asked? I fought Charles, but he still lives. You made no promise to kill the beast, and maybe I was fooled to ask you. But tell me you did not take the king's words over mine. Grishard has had her own ideas about the future of Frankia. I grew sympathetic to them. After all I have done to try and keep her safe from him. I was not convinced at first. She begged that I should take pity on him. He would have never done the same for you. Maybe not, but when he was at my mercy, I did pity him. Rashad swore she would take him away to a secluded place. He'll be gone from power. She means to groom young Bernard to be his successor. He is yet a piglet! You should be glad, Odo. Charles is gone. He'll not bother you anymore. Maybe. But I won't stand by idly and watch this kingdom crumble any further. At least we can drink to Charles being subdued. Let us go! We have work to do! What do you think he will do? Odo will focus on rebuilding Paris. I just hope he does not grow bitter in the doing. I will have Pierre's eyes on him for some seasons to come. A wise step. Can Richardis really keep Charles from returning to an active kingship? That is the wager I have made. And the lives of my clan depend on it. They can depend on more than that. You still have me. I will be sure to send word should Charles slither out of whatever pit Richardis has put him in. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Doka.
now, people. <laughs> I trust that you have heard. Yes, we have heard. Charles yet lives. A hard choice had to be made. What matters is that England is safe. What matters to you? Not all agree. And new forces rise to threaten the future of Francia. The Loyalists are unhappy with your deal and want their own king on the throne. Our missions will continue. Now you fight for the kingdom. It has always been Francia we were fighting for, Evor. How can I help? Back to England? To England. Off we go then. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? The Queen, Rishadis, believes she can subdue the Mad King in isolation. They have withdrawn to a faraway place. But Charles has such a stormy reputation. Can this queen tame such a man? Rashadis has a deep well of courage to draw from. And she holds sway over Charles like no other. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrik's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. New strength comes to weathered halls. Now I can rest.